If individual deaths were horrifying, the wall engendered other dramas that were nerve-wracking for the world. None more so than a showdown at Checkpoint Charlie between Soviet and American tanks that began on October 25, 1961, just two months after the wall was installed. Under the World War II Four Powers Agreement, the U.S. had absolute right of movement into East Berlin, but suddenly, East Berlin began to contest that right and would not let American jeeps pass without showing papers. In the jittery context of the Cold War, it was just the kind of incident that could spin out of control, especially with 30 U.S. and 32 Soviet tanks facing each other, engines running, cannons loaded. The world was genuinely frightened. This was the Cuban Missile Crisis, but 40 yards apart. The worst case scenario was that somebody would lose a nerve. A soldier with a gun in a building would lose his nerve and a tank would fire and they're firing on us, we're firing on them, and it goes all the way back. The crisis ended after three days when Khrushchev ordered the Soviet tanks to slowly back away. And the East Germans once again allowed US soldiers to move freely in and out of Berlin. <laughs> 